this is Dekalpana here in this video we are going to solve these two differential equations using solvable for p method so let's get started problem first one solve p square plus 3p plus 2 equals to 0 solution we are given differential equation P square plus 3P plus 2 equals to 0. So now we can split this 3P as 2P plus P. And third term will be as it is. Then take P common from the first two terms. You get P times P plus 2. And write the next two terms as it is. See you are having P plus 2 in both the terms right. So take p plus 2 common from these two terms. Then you will get p plus 2 times p plus 1 equals to 0. Then p plus 2 equals to 0. And p plus 1 equals to 0. Okay. plus 1 equals to 0. Right? So now we'll find solution for the first one that is p plus 2 equals to 0. So let's consider the equation p plus 2 equals to 0. Then p equals to minus 2. Now put p equals to dy by dx. Then dy by dx equals to minus 2. Then dy equals to minus 2 into dx. Now integrate on both sides. Then integral dy is y equals to minus 2 into integral dx is x plus integral constant c. Then y plus 2x minus c equals to 0 is the solution for the first equation. y plus 2x minus c equals to 0. Now consider the second one. P plus 1 equals to 0. Then P equals to minus 1. Now put P equals to dy by dx equals to minus 1. Then dy equals to minus 1 into dx is minus dx. Now perform integration. We get integral dy equals to minus integral dx. We know that integral dy is y equals to integral dx is x plus constant c. Then y plus x minus c equals to 0 is solution for the second one. So the combined form of these solutions, these two solutions will be the required solution for the first differential equation. Therefore, y plus 2x minus c into y plus x minus c equals to 0 is the required solution. Now coming to the second problem. Solve x square into p square plus 3xy p plus 2y square equals to 0. Solution. We are given differential equation. x square p square plus 3x y p plus 2 y square equals to 0. Then x square p square plus split this 3x y p as 2 x y p plus x y p plus third term as it is. Then see so you are having x and p common in both the terms. 
that is in first two terms now take xp common from the first two terms you get xp times xp plus 2p okay plus take y common from the next two terms you get y times xp plus 2y see here you have taken p common right so you'll get 2y not p You're having xp plus 2y in both the terms. So take xp plus 2y common from these two terms. So you'll get xp plus 2y times xp plus y equals to 0. Then xp plus 2y equals to 0 and xp plus y equals to 0. Consider the first one, xp plus 2y equals to 0. Then xp equals to minus 2y. Then x into put p equals to dy by dx. Then x into dy by dx equals to minus 2y. Then 1 by y into dy equals to minus 2x, 2 into 1 by x. We are taking x and dx to RHS, right? So, we'll get 1 by x into dx in the RHS. Here, the variables are separable. So, we'll perform integration. Integral 1 by y dy equals to minus 2 into integral 1 by x into dx. We know that integral 1 by y dy is log y equals to minus 2 into integral 1 by x dx is log x. Since both the terms is in log, so we consider or take constant as log c. Then log y equals to, we know that m log n can be written as log n power m. Then you can write this minus 2 log x as log x power minus 2 plus log c then log y equals to we know that x power minus n equals to 1 by x power n then you can write this as log 1 by x square plus log c then log y equals to we know that log a plus log b equals to log ab. Then you can write this as log c by x squared. Since c into 1 by x squared is c by x squared. Okay? And also we know that if log a equals to log b, then a equals to b. So from this we'll get log, sorry, y equals to c by x square. Then x square y equals to c. To take this c to LHS, you will get x square into y minus c equals to z. Which is solution for the first one. The first differential equation x square y. Minus c equals to 0. Now consider the second one. xp plus y equals to 0. Then xp equals to minus y. Now put p equals to dy by dx. Then x into dy by dx equals to minus y then 
1 by y into dy equals to minus 1 by x into dx. Now perform integration since the variables are separable. Integral 1 by y dy equals to minus integral 1 by x dx. Then we know that integral 1 by y dy is log of y equals to minus integral 1 by x dx is log of x. Since both the terms are in log, so we'll take constant as log c. Then log y, I'll simply take this minus log x to LHS. It becomes log x equals to log c. We know that log a plus log b equals to log ab. Then this becomes log yx or xy equals to log c. Also, we know that f log a equals to log b, then a equals to b. So, from this we will get yx equals to c, then yx minus c equals to 0, which is solution for the second differential equation. The combined form of these two solutions will be the required solution. Therefore, x square y or y x square minus c into y x minus c equals to 0 is the required solution. So, we have seen two problems in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.